Crunchfield and his friends on the Crunchfield Highland Valley Railroad was getting rushed on their wheels, and their axles were aching because of the so much workload was increasing. Crunchfield and his friends were tired after every job of heavy train after another. Crunchfield knew that they need help. Ugh, I don't think I can handle a lot of these freight trains and passengers on our own. What we need is another engine to help us, Crunchfield. Yes indeed, Aiden. That's why I brought two new diesels from the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad. Really? That's amazing! Who are they, sir? The first diesel is a Burlington Northern Santa Fe C449W diesel. His name is Carlos, 702, and he likes steam engines, and he gets along with them very well. So, who is the other diesel, sir? The other diesel is a B40-8, number 8603. What? No, I thought I never saw him again. Why? What's wrong, Luke? I had a history with that diesel. His name is Quincy, by the way. Jack, I thought you agreed to never bring that name up again. Kent, probably he changed. Well, apparently he didn't, and I saw through his sorry engine, and if I see him, I'm going to send him straight to the scrap barn into little eeny weeny teeny tiny pieces. That's enough. We just have to give this diesel a fair chance. I agree, sir. Besides, not all diesels are bad. Right, Aiden? Yeah, we should give Quincy a chance. I'm also going to tell you guys that two ponies are arriving on my railroad, and they're going to be helping us out. Who are they, sir? They're going to be coming in a few days. Okay? Yes, sir. Good. So, when will Carlos and Quincy arrive? They're arriving right about now. Hey, Luke! What's up, man? Hey, Carlos! Long time no see! How was the run? It was great. So, who are your friends? Carlos, this is Quenchfield and Aiden. You probably already know Jack and Ken. You bet I know them. I was in Kansas before. Welcome to my road, you two. Thank you two for coming. No problem, sir. You must be Quincy. Thank you for coming. Uh, um, thank you, sir. Is something bothering you, Quincy? You're acting rather shy. I... Uh, I g guess I am. What in Santa Fe are you doing back here? Kent, please. Not now, Jack. Why are you here, Quincy? Stop it. Kent, that's enough. Right. If there's something bothering you, Quincy, you should tell us. How would you know 150... Oh, right. First introductions. My name is Aiden, and this is my best friend, Quinchfield. He has sisters, Sabrina and Jessica, but they're working at the moment. N nice to, to, to meet you, a Aiden and Quinchfield. Quincy, you're never usually like this. Why are you so shy? Um. Uh, okay. You see... I have a bad history, but I changed my ways, and I fully respect steam engines now. We see that really well, Quincy, but why were you so shaken up? Okay, you see, back when I was much younger, I was very rude, boastful, and bashful with the steam engines, and I thought that diesels were always superior, and I thought we would never be thrown away, and we would last forever. But as time went by, I soon discovered the wholehearted truth. Some diesels were being old and withdrawn from service and sent for scrap.
gosh. That's awful. I know. Some of my brothers and sisters were placed in storage and sent for scrap. While others were rebuilt of their cabs being enlarged. I didn't want to have my cab enlarged. And I didn't want to be placed in storage or scrapped. And that's why I've mended my ways. Well, me and Clinchfield believe that fixing your attitude and having another chance was the right choice, Quincy. You really think that? Of course. Well said, you two. Quincy, you and Carlos are going to be doing goods trains for a bit. I'm also going to be having two ponies that are coming over to help me. You'll meet them soon. And I will make sure that you're safe on this railroad. Thank you, Mr. Clinton. Thank you. No problem, Quincy. A few days had went by until the day the two ponies arrived. Mr. Clinton was having breakfast with his family when the doorbell rang. <coughs> honey, there's someone wanting to see you. Don't worry, honey, I will get it. Ah, Proud Craig and Dark Craig. I'm happy you two made it. Thank you two for coming. It's so good to see you, Crystal. I heard that you two had a great trip all the way to California. Me and Proud had a, had a good journey to California. Me and Dark are really happy to help you, Mr. Clinton. That's good to hear. I brought in two diesels to help me with the workload. And I brought you two here since Twilight and her friends can't do the work alone. I heard you brought two new diesels from the BS BNSF. Yes, their names are Carlos and Quincy. You're going to meet them at the station. I really want to meet the two new diesels you got, Mr. Clinton. They're busy doing freight work right now. You'll meet them at the station. Well, let's go see these engines. Very well, you two. Let's go. At the main station, Quinchfield was resting with the Texas Special. Aiden and Talon were there. Dark Craig and Proud Craig soon recognized Quinchfield. And they soon reunited with their old friends. They heard about Quinchfield and Aiden's story on the internet. How are you doing, Quinchfield? Oh, the usual, Proud. Hauling passengers and freight and taking the logging trains up and down Black Wolf Logging Camp. You know, the usual. That's good. Quincy and Carlos are coming down at the freight train layer. I really can't wait to meet him and Carlos. I really hope Dave and Larry don't give Quincy or Carlos conflict, Clinchville. You both, Talon. I'm getting tired of Dave and Larry picking on us and on the other engines. Yeah, I hope so too. Just then, Quincy and Carlos arrived at the station with their freight train. Quincy was pulling and Carlos was helping at the back. Hey, Quincy. How's the freight trains that you and Carlos are running? Oh, it's great, Clinchfield. You know, it makes me remind me of the good old days back when I worked for the BNSF. I'm happy I changed my attitude. Dark Critic climbed up onto Quincy's platform, and he introduced himself to the reformed Diesel. So you're Quincy, I'm Dark Critic. Yep, that's right. But I fully respect steam engines now when I fix my ways. Did you have the same thing that happened to me? I was Ebot first, but thanks to my brother, Proud, I changed my ways. I'm sorry that your siblings had to be scrapped or placed in storage, Quincy. It's not your fault. Every engine's time's come. Old diesels had to be sent for scrap and then replaced with the new. It's like the old saying goes, out with the old and in with the new. You know, Quincy, I felt like you of being rude and thought was better than others. I've seen the error of my ways, too. Well, that kind of makes us equals, Talon. I guess you understand how I really feel. By the way, Quincy, you better be careful for Dave and Larry. What did you say? Dave and Larry? Why? Those two diesels threatened to scrap me, and I hate those two! Who's Dave and Larry? Ugh. Even though I hate to say and describe them dark... Dave is a General Electric ES40DC diesel locomotive number 5265. And Larry's a General Electric AC6000CW number 657. Those two look down on other engines, and I hate those two. 
Ever since I changed my attitude, they saw me as a traitor to other diesels. Those two CSX diesels, uh, uh, those two are just plain horrid. If I see those two, I'm gonna rip their wheels off! <laughs> Well, well, well. It's the jinxed locomotive himself. You're better off scrapped Clinchfield. Dave, you're not welcome here with Larry. Leave us alone. Why are you picking, us, picking on Clinchfield and his friend, Dave and Larry? Leave them alone. Why don't you make us, you stupid gray horse? Ha 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 ha. You take that back. I won't take back what I said, you stupid horse. All right, that's it. I am fed up. Quincy, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. You think you two looking down on others makes you feel better? Well, guess what, Buster? You're not going to get it. You better leave now or I'll sink to your grave. <laughs> Crap. Larry, that was your fault. No, it was not my fault. It was your fault. My fault. You stupid piece of scrap. That was your fault. That thread works every time. Wait. You dealt with bad engines and people before? <laughs> oh, I dealt with villains before. Well, now that Dave and Larry are on my way, I better get going with my goods train. I don't want to be late. Have a safe run, Critsy. Thanks, Star Critic. I better get going. See you later. To change for the better proud. Yes, Dark. He really has changed. I am really happy Quincy stood up for his friends. He really changed his attitude. I'm happy he's my friend, too. Agreed, Talon. Some diesels just don't want to change, and there are a lot of other diesels that do. And I'm happy that Quincy is one of the diesels that changed his attitude. I'm happy he respects steam engines, and I'm happy it's a part of the railroad now. And it just goes to show that some diesels can change for the better. <laughs>